Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I want to introduce you to this new style of, um, I would say, raw videos where I could throw you quick tutorials on what I do behind the scenes that sometimes doesn't get filled in into the videos. So what we're going to be doing today is compiling software for the Raspberry Pi. To begin, you're going to have to find the source codes to whatever you're trying to compile. Now, in my case, I'm just going to do something quick and easy, and it's going to be Nmap. Now, if you app get, which I already did, app get the Nmap, you're going to notice that if I do Nmap version, nmap version if I could type it is going to be version 6.47 and what you're going to notice is the latest version is actually 7.31 so here the first thing what I'm going to be doing is uh, trying to grab the git or the source code itself now to do that you would type in git clone http and then github.com slash nmap slash nmap. It all depends on where you could grab the source. For me, it's GitHub. They actually have SNV, but I could grab it from SNV also. Now, this whole idea of this new type of video stemmed actually from my friend over at TechWiz Time. We were talking on Skype, and he's actually from Australia, and I'm from New York. It's really cool how we could connect. And we were talking on Skype about certain ideas and how we're going to pass on our uh, collaborations and stuff like that that we're going to be doing in the future. And one of the things is like, hey, you should throw these videos up. So that's why I started this new type of style. So if you guys enjoy this or you guys like this type of style, hit it up in the comments below. If you guys want to know or want me to do certain types of videos that are, you know it's going to be quick, but you want to see someone do it or something like that, hit it up in the comments and I'll see if I could do it. So here, now that we grabbed the files, I could just go CD into Nmap. And the first thing you want to do is configure. What configure does, it basically pulls whatever your system has, um, say like Nmap or I mean Ncurse or say OpenSSL. It finds all these things that Nmap requires and then it'll pre-compile everything that you need um, to compile the software. So if you're missing something, I'll actually say no. Um, it also has the option where you want to change the install directory or if you want to change certain outputs or not to use Ncurse or whatever. Configure basically is where you would put all those options. And in the end, it basically con makes a configuration file for your make. So when you compile, it reads from this file and says like, hey, you know what? I know how to compile this. I know you don't want this. I know you want that, etc., etc." Now this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so here it's done configuring. And the next step you need to take is make. And because we have four cores, we're going to use dash J four. That way it knows to compile in four cores. And again, this will take a while. Compiling and configuring does take a little bit of time. So it's not as fast as just grabbing the file from the internet. So I'm going to skip forward a little bit to the end of this make. All right, now that it's done making, the first before you install it, the first thing you want to do is check to see if everything's correct. So you could do dot slash nmap, and you're going to notice that now if I could type it will say version 7.31 that means I've successfully compiled the latest version of nmap and everything is working what you want to do next is sudo make install this will actually put all the system files or put all the files from nmap into your system directory or where it's supposed to be now in most cases if you're compiling a game or something you might not need this step it might just work right off the uh, compile directory so here it's going to install everything that I need to to those system directory. Now that everything's installed, to test this I have to restart the terminal. So I'm going to open another terminal and you're going to see nmap and now it just pulls automatically 7.31. Alright so guys, if you enjoyed this type of video, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to be making more of these things. If you guys have got any questions, hit up in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. That way you get notifications on the next video that's going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.